Hi there, everyone. My name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. I'm going to get in this one really quickly, because I thought I already covered it. We were talking about Lindman F&M. All right, so I just recently covered the live album, which covers the first two albums from Lindman on the solo project. Interestingly, and I didn't think of it at the time, that's what Rammstein did as well. They released two albums and then they did a live album. Cool. Maybe. Anyways. <laughs> um, now, this language is German. Unlike the last album. The first album was completely in English. This one, well, mostly in English. This one is mostly in German. Uh... I had thought about going through and doing, going and trying to find the English translations like I did with Rammstein. That way I could get into a little bit better. And then I opted not to. And the reason why is I want to present this as, you know, your basic kind of metal fan listening to this album. You know, someone who likes their industrial kind of music. Um... Because for me, when I listen to this, you know, I don't give a shit what the fuck he's saying. Like, it's great when he's doing, you know, on the English album, it's hilarious. But, just not worried about it here. So, uh, the album starts off with Stay Off. And, okay, I believe this one is something like Back Off or Step Off or something like that. And, it, I love this song. This song's like this giant battle cry just the giant stay off you know wonderful uh it kicks off the album perfectly really fast really hard real heavy really aggressive just like ah. uh i mean it, it, it really is the type of song that you just kind of want to drop some boots down on the ground and you know just stomp your way as aggressively as you can man <sighs> I am bringing stop boot stomping up a lot in here, and when I'm talking about boot stomping, it's going to sound violent, but it's not meant to sound violent. I mean, we're talking like good old boot stomping, like, if, you know, you're, same terms I use for a lot of uh, country-esque, heavy, hard country-esque stuff, man, you just get that boot stomping. I've said about Rob Zombie as well, you know, you just get the big... You know, I wear these huge clunky Doc Martens, right? You know, it's got like the super extra big sole nowadays. So, like, it's a platform. So, it's just a boom. <laughs> All right. So, you know, when I, I got to stay off going while I'm walking to work. I was just like, come on, piss me off, somebody. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ish Vice and Niche is uh, up next. Uh, this is another one as well as a good boot stomper and a headbanger. Um, if you like Lindemann or Amstein, you'll enjoy this one. This one is, a, it's not aggressive like the last one is. This one is just kind of a more, you know, kind of chanted. You know, just great, great chant along kind of song. I just... The tune, <laughs> really, honestly, it's just the best way to put it. Uh, um, uh, uh, no clue what he's saying, but it seems pretty angry about it, man. <sighs> really angry about it. <laughs> uh, musically, uh, the song has really kind of got a great frantic kind of vibe with the music, which for this song works really nice if that's what they're going for. Uh, that moves on to Blut. Um, I really like Blut. This one's kind of like a slow trudge. Um, kind of moving on through. Kind of like, I want to say like that. That Pantera walk kind of trudge. You know, where you just pick up one boot, drop it down. Pick up the other boot, drop it down. You just kind of trudge them forward, man. You just kind of trudge them. <laughs> um... Next up is Neville. I believe that's the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, this one's kind of an old taverny kind of song to me. Um, you know, 
some you know like if you're watching a movie that takes place in like you know the mid middle ages or something like that you got you know a little tavern singing along with the little minstrels up on stage blah 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 and, i mean it's really great it sounds great right up until you hit the uh 228 moment and then you know you're banging your head stomping the ground and punching in the air man just yeah you know if you ever see Lindman live, man, you know he's just sitting there like this off his leg, you know. <laughs> uh, Freud, man. Uh, this is honestly the most fun song on the album. And I I think it's funny because I never think of it as Freud, man. I always think of it as I, I, I. Because <laughs> that's what you hear, you know, you know, I, I, I. And then, you know, he keeps singing his line, but I just love that. Ay, ay, ay. It's just great. It makes so much fun. Ash So Good. Um, this one kind of got an old school kind of tango to it. Um, and there's really no better way to put it. Like, you could, I, I, I would tango to this fucker. You know, get out there, get the rose going in the middle. Just get the tango. Great, great, great song. So much fun. Uh, Schlafein. Uh, this one sounds like it would be something almost off Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare. Um, uh, you know, and it's funny because these, these two groups, I honestly believe that Rammstein, everything that they take out of their, their book is one part. Out, like especially with the live show, specifically with the live show, it's like one part Alice Cooper, one part Metallica. Okay, uh, have you ever seen Metallica live? Like back in the nineties, they were the pyro band, and you know Alice Cooper always puts on the stage show. You know that's the way that works. And then you got Rammstein, where it's both of them, and then you got the video screen thing going on too, which Rob Zombie is the one I know who's really crazy for the video screen thing, but. Uh, Rammstein and Rob Zombie kind of on par for time period. So, you know, not so much one inspiring the other so much there. But definitely, to me, there's Alice Cooper. It's heavy Alice Cooper and Metallica with that type of stuff. And I only bring that up because, like I said, with this particular song, it definitely sounds like it's something to be off of Welcome to My Nightmare. Um... And for as much as these groups have in common, especially Alice and Rammstein, there's obviously so much that's different too, but those commonalities are fantastic. Like, Rammstein takes the best parts of Alice Cooper and just brings it into the modern century. It's awesome. Uh, Gummy. Uh, this is the one song on this album that's pretty basic to me. Uh, it's an album filler, which to me is really funny because I think the song is great live. You know, when I'm listening to live album, I'm talking about live album, it's just, oh yeah, it's a fantastic song. Uh, then you got Platz Eins. Uh, this one is pretty heavy with the EDM to me. Uh, so it might throw some people off. However, I think it is still very enjoyable regardless. And you got, uh, the Vice Don't Sean? Oh, I know I butchered that one. Sorry. Uh, this one, such a slow and pretty way to close out the album. Uh, great way to close out the album. Uh, I would absolutely, if you love Rammstein, you're going to like this album. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you bought the first Lindemann album and you were hoping that you'd get another English album, no. Not going to happen. But it's okay, man. You don't need another English album. Uh, this is very much earlier Rammstein to me, kind of, sort of. Uh, I want to say there's a lot of... It reminds me a lot of uh, the Mutter era in sound in a lot of ways. Definitely a different album. Very different album. But... Kind of sound wise, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, just, just go get it. That, that's it, man. You know, like I'm, I'm. <sighs> Lindman has not released a bad one yet. Uh, all the lyrics are in here in German. I cannot show you pictures from inside the book. They are not safe. 
Uh, they are pretty gosh darn nude. Uh, pretty gosh darn nude. A and a variety is actually quite interesting. The variety of the uh, subject matter in these photos. Just really interesting. Very creative and dark and sinister at the same time. Kind of playing with the same idea of the imagery that's on the front there. Um, all right, folks. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to just say, you know, I, I think you should have this out. You know, especially if you're in a modern rock slash metal. This is this is kind of to me where where it's at right now. Um, let me know what you think. That's what the comment section is for. Hit that like button, the subscribe button, the little bell for notifications. There's a link that goes to Patreon down below. Peace, love, take care.